Um, when decide you play thrash metal? Oh, when did I decide to play thrash metal? Um, actually, after I saw Exodus, you know, I think it was in 1981, and at that time I thought this, the heaviest thing was Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, you know, and then I went and checked them out, you know, this band Exodus, and I had no idea what the hell they were doing, but I walked away just saying, I don't know what kind of metal that was, but that's the kind of metal I want to play, so. That was my first experience with uh, <laughs> with Exodus. Um, let's see. What's your favorite pre-SHKM Exodus album? Well, that's easy. Come on, Bonded by Blood, but that's been you know, beaten into the ground already, obviously. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Priest and Maiden still are the heaviest thing. Eh, not the new stuff, no. Sorry. I mean, I'm more into their older stuff. Uh, <laughs> what was the first guitar you ever had? Uh, it was some cheap Fender like strat like you know I, I think it costs like a hundred a hundred fifty dollars or something you know I still have it somewhere uh, in the garage buried you know uh, Glenn Tipton or KK uh, I would have to say Glenn Tipton you know I love KK I mean you know, but you know Glenn Tipton has just gotten so much better over the years Um, which would you rather, <laughs> more female fans or more beer? Uh, both, both would be nice, yeah. What's your opinion of Death Magnetic? Eh, I, it's okay, I mean, at least it's better than, what was that last one, the, what was the last one? What? The last Metallica Oh, Saint, no, this, it's better than Saint Anger, that's... <laughs> Uh, have you ever used cornstarch to prevent sweaty balls? Uh, no, but I, I gotta try that. <laughs> Sweet winger. <laughs> uh, what, what type of martial heads do you like? JCM? Uh, yeah, JCM 800s. I mean, that's, I mean, I have my, I had mine just modified not too long ago and, you know, I can't wait to hear it. Um... Who is the band that you never played with that you would like to play with one day? Um, I would say Rainbow. You know, I mean, that would be awesome. Thin Lizzy, that I would love that. You know, <laughs> what do you think of the fluffy guitars? <laughs> All right, Shred. I think we had that conversation. <laughs> love them. They stay in tune so good. Uh, can you compare Victims of Deception and Evolution of Chaos? Um, it's just the next Exodus album. I mean, Heathen album. <laughs> um, hopefully, I mean, it's, it's just it's just Heathen 2009-10, you know. It's still got, you know, the, all the Heathen sound, but hopefully, I mean, it's got a little bit more and it doesn't sound, you know, like it was made in 1989, you know. What sports do you like? Um, I'm a big hockey fan. Philadelphia Flyers, my team. Um, <laughs> I can hear one. Are you reading this? <laughs> What's your favorite guitar? Um, well, I mean, you know, I play ESP guitars. You know, I, I like flying V's a lot. You guys should tour... With Exhorter, yeah, I love Exhorter. Yeah. And I heard they were, they were doing reunion tour, right? How long is set? Do you guys uh, set? Do you guys get on Arch Enemy? I believe we get an hour. An hour. Yeah. So. Um, 
Do you guys keep in touch with Scott and Charlie from Anthrax? Uh, no, I, I don't. You know, I don't believe that anybody does. Uh, what do you think about Rock Band? Have you played it? Uh, no, I haven't played it, but you know, we're, we're trying to get on it. I mean, that would be kind of cool. A lot of people have been asking. Um, who's headlining that show? Well, Arch Enemy's headlining. I mean, uh, yeah, she is a sick singer. Um, do you prefer ESP Eclipse much more than the LTD version? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I mean, they just play better and they're better built guitar. I mean, they're more expensive, but you know, you get what you pay for, I guess. What's your favorite German thrash metal band and what's your favorite German thrash album? Um, well, I mean, I would have to say Creator, but probably my favorite album would be Destruction album. Uh, uh, what is it? Infernal Overkill, I believe it's called. How long is the new album? Uh, it's it's long. I mean, it's as long as we can fit on the CD. <laughs> Doug Piercy. I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, I know he moved back to the bay, near to the bay, uh, but I haven't seen him in a while. Um, Exodus should headline all the shows. Well, you know, when we sell as many albums as Arch Enemy, if all of you go out and and you know buy an album. Uh, maybe next time we will, you know. <laughs> do you like death metal? I, I do like death, death metal, just more like old school death metal. I mean, the new stuff, I mean, some of it is okay, but most of it is just, you know, a little too, a little too much for me. Uh, what are your thoughts on mustaches? Oh, mustaches rule, I mean. <laughs> um... What about the crooked? <laughs> Andy said on his website, he can drink you Exodus guys under the table. <laughs> yeah, right. Andy, name the place, the time. Yeah, the guy, the guy. And we, we went out the other day. I mean, he was drunk after two beers. I was, I was trying to, you know, get him to do like a couple of shots of tequila. I mean, he was crying like a little baby. And then we had... We practically had to carry him out of that bar. I mean, and it was like two beers and two shots. So, <laughs> um, any ideas who you might bring for U.S. headline tour for a new album? Um, no, not at this point. I mean, that's far down the road. You know. Are Heathen playing "Set Me Free" live currently? Uh, no. I'm sick of that. As much as I love Sweet, I mean, I'm sick of playing and being asked that question. Ever see Andy Anderson? No, not in a long time. Uh, what other genres of music do you like? Power, folks? Uh, I'm, I mean, I like some old, like, power metal is okay. I mean, it, then it got kind of silly. Uh, I, like I said, I like old school, you know, death metal. I like some black metal, too. I mean, in every genre, you know, you can find, you know, good and bad bands, you know. I mean, so uh, I don't really go by genres to where it's like I hear a band and, you know, I don't care what, you know, what category they fit in. I mean, if I like it, I like it. Um. <laughs> can any band out drink Exodus? I um, know. Probably, you know, the, you know, I would say maybe some Swedish or Finnish bands only, you know. Maybe Tankard. Maybe Tankard, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, they're, they're more of a beer drinkers, you know. I mean, once we start hitting hard liquor, I don't know where they're going to go with that. Uh, what do you think of John, John Schaefer from I Start as a guitar player? You know, he's a great, great rhythm player, you know. Uh, Andy must be the sixth member. Well, he yeah, he is. <laughs> um, let's see. They are they're all sober now. They don't drink tank. What kind of tankard is it if they don't drink? Uh, 
Lee, are you going to give up thrash metal and begin a rap career? Absolutely, because I'm such a huge rap fan, you know. I mean, that's one kind of kind of music. I mean, like, not too much into grunge <laughs> and, like, funk metal and all that. Uh, and rap, I mean, I don't even really seriously consider it music. I mean, that's why it's called rap. Uh, does the sixth member of Exodus play a big role in the band? Well, absolutely. You know, I mean, he can he can make us sound really good, or he can make us sound really bad. Yeah. You know, so, 